Hello everyone, it's Jack with Jack Shaklin Photography. I'm doing the unboxing like I promised. Uh, I'm about a week late, so I apologize for that. Just had a really busy week ahead of me. Or my last week was really busy. So, but anyways, this is the what we're unboxing. It's the Westcott um, D5 light kit. Um, it is um, a constant light. It's always on. It's not like a flash like I normally would use for all my shoots. Um, the nice thing about it is using CFLs so they don't get hot. They're not considered hot lights. Um, which is nice because it keeps everything nice and comfortable while you shoot. Um, this kit comes with two octaboxes. I prefer octaboxes because it gives a more natural catch light in the eye. Um, two light stands and a bunch of bulbs, equivalent up to uh, a thousand watts of light hitting you. Um, they are CFLs, so I believe the, each bulb is rated at 27 uh, watts. So let's go ahead and unpackage this. This did come in a really big brown box. I actually took that box out because it was easier. I already cut all the tape around it um, just to make it easier. One of the nice things, it does come in its own bag. So you don't have to worry about where to store it or anything like that. Let's get this out of the way. It looks like a decent bag, sturdy enough. So here's one Octobox. Um, quality seems pretty good. I've used Westcott before, I liked them. Um, this is considered their basic line. Uh, it's a little bit less expensive than their other line, um, but it should be, should be pretty good. The only downside of this is I prefer the umbrella type Octoboxes. These are individual rods, <clears throat> they have to fit in and they could be a little bit cumbersome to do. But overall, it should be good. All right, so that's the first Octobox. Here's the second one. And in here are the heads. And it doesn't look like I pre-opened the heads. All right, I'm gonna need a knife. I'm back with my trusty knife, just to go ahead and uncut this. <clears throat> the packaging is fairly decent with this, so you know it's gonna come and arrive to you in a nice order. All right, here's one head, it takes five bulbs. Um, 27 watts per bulb. And the nice thing about this, one, one of the reasons why I like this set is I could turn on each or turn off each individual bulb to help with the power um, output. Sometimes you might need a lot of power, sometimes you might not, or a lot of light, I should say. Okay, there's the stand. Alrighty. And then your power plug. And with your power plug, you have an overall master on-off switch. That here. All right, here's the second head. And just like the first head, five sockets for five bulbs, individual control, power. A little divider to protect the bulbs. And then the light stands. Light stands are a little small, a little thin. Uh, I like a little bit beefier of a light, light stand. Uh, that way if you go with bigger modifiers, you don't have to worry about as much tipping them over and putting as much weight with the sandbag. Um, but they, they should do for what we're gonna use it for. Just gonna put this right down here. 
So it comes with two of those light stands. They're six and a half feet. Um, so that's a decent size. I'm just gonna put this on the ground. All the way down here. And then comes the light bulbs. Now there are 10 of these, which is nice. I like the kits because it comes with everything I, I absolutely need. I don't need another, I really don't need more light stands. I mean, I have tons of those, but this way it makes it easier. It comes to one kit with a nice bag. Um, just makes it, you know, easier to buy that way. I just screw a light in like this. You do have to be careful with CFLs because they do have mercury in them, so if they were to drop or break, you really have to be careful and dispose of them properly. I'm just gonna set one up completely, and then besides the octobox, that's gonna take a little time to do, um, but at least set one with all five bulbs, and then turn it on so you guys can see what it's like. I recommend just keeping the bulbs, the boxes for the bulbs with the styrofoam. Uh, I wouldn't want these running around loose inside the case. Just like I said, you don't want them to break. Um, especially if you're traveling with them on a shoot. Um, you, you just wouldn't want them, want them to break. Like, oh, like I almost did there. One more bulb to go. Stay. Okay, I'm just gonna put it on the light stand. There it goes. Let's clip this one up. That way you guys can see it better. All right, I'll plug one in. All right, those are all on. <laughs> Sorry about the blast of light. I will try to fix that in post. But, um, so this is your, your master switch. I have all the lights right now turned off. Um, turn the master switch, then you can turn one light on at a time. Just gotta face it this way. So you can see, this produces a lot of light. Um, which is really nice. Um, you're looking at about the equivalent of 500 watts for one set. So you have another set, so the 1,000 watts of uh, light, which is a lot of light. Um, I think my main speed light that I, or my main strobe that I use is a 600 uh, watt. Um, so it's plenty of light. There should be plenty of light. This sh kit should allow me to get out of my office and start recording more YouTube videos on location, other places in my house. So that's the main reason why I got the kit. Um, I will test it out and let you guys know how I like it. Well, my next video will be used, probably will be using these lights. Um, so I guess that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll have a link uh, where I bought this from. I got it from Amazon. I'll have a link for the whole kit just in case you guys wanted to get it or check it out for yourselves. It was pretty inexpensive um, for these type of lights. They do go real expensive, um, like $1,000 per head. Um, this was about half the price of that. Um, so anyways, uh, I'll put the link uh, for Amazon in there and you guys can check it out. Thanks for watching. Once again, subscribe to the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it and any kind of recommendations you want to see in other um, videos. Thank you.